What's up guys, it's your girl Selena Marie and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell at the same time so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. What's up guys, I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video, maybe a few days, maybe a week, but your girl has been going through it. Um, yesterday I buried my cousin, Red, that's why I got this shirt on, Long Live Red. Rest in peace cuz, you are truly missed and we love you so much. Um, he was murdered in Bay St. Louis. He was 23 years old, and he was murdered on Mother's Day. We buried him May 9th, and today is the 10th, so I'm going to upload this video tonight. But um, he went out Mother's Day morning, like at, I guess this happened. I don't know exactly what time, but I know he went out, and um, some words was exchanged with this 34-year-old man who's in it's, who's active in the military and I guess the man followed him outside or whatever and shot him three times once in the chin once in the chest and once in the stomach and he died on the scene before the AMR could get there and it's sad because who gives you the right to steal somebody's life and it's that's tragic like who gives you the right to steal somebody's life so I've been dealing with that y'all and it's like every time I turn around I'm losing somebody friends family people i know people i went to school with so hug your family hug your friends if you have a grudge against somebody make sure you go tell them that you love them you don't want them to walk out the door like nowadays people don't fight no more they killing stabbing shooting and your loved one the person that you're angry with can walk right out the door and never come back and that's the sad part about the 2021 and the new year like the new generation and all this shit going on it's like death is really walking around here heavily heavily like just three days ago um somebody hung themselves down here that we all knew that was family too like close like family he wasn't family but he was close like family and then um uh, two weeks ago before that two people was murdered I watched them grow up since they was kids. It's like, it just non-stop violence. So this is his obituary right here, guys. Handsome, I know. Red was very handsome. Like, everybody flocked to him. And this is the um, bookmarks that his mom had made. But everybody flocked to him like he was just a joy to be around. And it was never a dull moment when he was around. Like, never. He loved to smile, showed them pretty white teeth. And I just cannot believe somebody took his life. So hug your loved ones before it's too late. You know, we he had a beautiful going away ceremony. He looked really nice. And y'all excuse the air, but I wanted to just sit here and talk to y'all, you know, because I, I'm not going to keep going without making videos. Yesterday was too personal, so I did not want to film at all, y'all. I did not want to film. I just wanted to just try to be as much as as a support system as I could be for, you know, his aunties and, you know, his his people. You know, I just wanted to just be there, you know, try to be there. They made some pins. I had a pin made also. It said Long Live Red. They did a balloon release and um, a repast, like a, had food and a party and stuff afterwards. I didn't go to that because I was so exhausted mentally and physically and emotionally because i did a lot of walking and then the sun was it was really hot yesterday i'm saying that day like it was days ago weeks it was yesterday i did a lot of walking and i was very very tired it was really hot and so i didn't have the energy to do all of that i just wanted to just go say my goodbyes and my farewells and pay my respects and it was real hard watching his family break down his mom break down and I don't know if I said this, but he passed away on Mother's Day. Like, that has to be the most, like, it makes me so angry. Like, the person that did this, you did this on Mother's Day. You knew it was Mother's Day. You knew it was Mother's Day. It's just crazy. But yes, I'm not going to talk too much on that because that has a lot of emotion within it itself. So, y'all, just put the prayer hands down below and pray for Red family you know pray for us you know because it's hard because every day or every other day it seems like every day we losing people and it's like black people killing black people like come on now we have to do better we have to do better we do not have the right to take people lives because we don't like what they say 
Not at all. And in the midst of all of this, I've been just building myself up, building myself up, been trying to work on me, you know, and deal with certain situations without feeling alone, you know, because as I state, when I when I go through certain situations, like with my eye situation, everything, and I was telling y'all that I was alone, like that just is what it is, you know, and I have come to accept that because I don't want to be the friend that's always like, hey, I want to hang, <laughs> hey, I want to talk on the phone, hey, don't forget about me, you know, because that's how, sometimes that's how I feel like I, I be, and I, I just had to take myself back from that because I don't want to be that, I want it to be equally, I want to be around people who want to be around me, I want to talk to people who want to talk to me. And y'all, I have been doing so good because I have not been getting angry. I have not been getting bitter or upset because certain people not there for me at all anymore because I have just accepted life and it has made me a better person because I am more happy. I'm not always sad or lonely feeling. So y'all, if y'all been praying for me, it has been working. Monday morning, I have an appointment with my doctor. Here's my card ain't gonna show y'all the front but yeah I'm gonna mark all that out yep I got my appointment tomorrow to check on my eye it has been giving me a lot of problems these last few days but hopefully when I go to the doctor tomorrow I get good news but yeah y'all we've been going through it but other than that I'm just pushing, pushing forward, like putting one foot in front of the other and pushing forward. But look at these waves, y'all. Do y'all see these waves in your girl here? They spinning, spinning out of control. Like make you seasick, <coughs> make you seasick, baby. Yes, honey. Oh yeah, and another reason why I had took me a little break because I had to work on this this bump. If y'all want me to do a video on how I got rid of that bump, it wasn't a keloid, it was just a bump. Because the keloid is not filled with anything. You know, I don't research all of that. The keloid is not filled with anything, it was just a bump. But y'all see, it's gone, you girl. Because that was so ugly to just have a big old bump just sitting there on your nose. Mm -mm. And all I did was snag it. I didn't. I was still soaking it every day. I wasn't like going days without cleaning it. I wasn't doing nothing nasty. Some people get get it for not cleaning that shit right, but I was cleaning myself twice a day. I had the natural sea salt. Well, I still have the natural sea salt, the tea tree oil, everything. I was like putting the works down on this, and it was still getting big. But I didn't give up. I kept on treating it. I kept on treating it. And voila it started shrinking and anyways that's a whole nother video i'm gonna do a whole nother video if you guys would like a video matter of fact i'm gonna do the video period because i think it's a lot of people out here getting piercings and that i can help somebody i can really help somebody i think i can so yeah message of the day y'all is don't cling to people who don't want to be clinged on to don't push yourself on people don't force friendships you know, and another message of the day is hug your loved ones. Tell your loved ones you love them because tomorrow is not promised to nobody. Anybody can walk out the door and get hit by a car. You can walk out the door and get shot. You can walk out the door and anything can happen. Like I have seen the most craziest stuff. Just just the most craziest stuff. On 49, I mean, it was a high speed chase the other day. He took his baby and drove from Louisiana all the way down here drove to Gulfport with this baby on a police chase it was like 150 100 cars behind him he finally pulled over then I guess a shootout exchange he jumped out with the baby in the, in the hand in his hands and the baby get killed too they killed him and the baby ended up dead too shot too like and you telling me that they can't see where the bullet came from they need to do see whether that bullet came from the police officer's bullet or they came from the dad's gun because i really don't that's not right i feel like that could have been handled a lot differently like just so much it's feel i just feel like the reaper the grim the reaper is walking the damn earth they is everywhere 
Protect us, honey. Protect us because it's too much going on in this world. And these babies, the, the babies are dying. That's the sad part about it. That's the sad part about it. People don't even see y'all killing these babies. But yeah, I can drag this video on and on and on. I just wanted to update y'all on the what's really going on with your girl. So if you've made it to the end of the video, make sure you give butterflies. You know, drop them blue butterflies. And yeah, love on your loved ones before it's too late, guys. If you reach the end of this video, make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up. And make sure you hit that bell at the same time so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. Also, make sure you follow me on all of my social medias down below. I love you, Loyalty Squad. Bye.